welcome back to the BVTV channel. It is great to be back with another SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 GM Mode series. I don't know why I wasn't already on the thing, but you know, it is what it is. I do want to apologize. Um, last uh, last episode, I could have sworn I got the audio right. I'm pretty confident that I have the audio right in this one. Fingers crossed. Um, every time I kind of use the um, capture card, since I my old one broke. Um, this one's been giving me a bit, a bit of a problem. It's not as smooth as the as the one I did about two years ago with the series. There's always something going on, and then using my new professional podcasting mic for some reason, when I only use it for gaming, it has like a weird like air sound in the, in the back. I don't know. I'm still trying to make it to where like the air sound isn't that noticeable, and the gameplay is still hearable, and my voice is still hearable. So you know, it's just been a lot of figuring out and this is going to be a bit of a learning process honestly because every time I go into my, my my old computer to record this everything sounds great and then all of a sudden on the YouTube thing even when I'm editing it on my old computer it sounds perfectly fine and then when I put it on YouTube it just sounds weird so hopefully this sounds way clearer hopefully it sounds way better and hopefully it's just not overpowering um, like the gameplay doesn't overpower the, um, the, the microphone that's really my biggest worry um, so hopefully we kind of um you know get that out of the bag anyway episode three barely legal the pay-per-view is here we're in japan ladies and gentlemen edge and jeff hardy kick off the show for some last man standing match on top of that we have a nifty treat as former ecw world heavyweight champion jtg will face umaga and the sandman in a table match in a triple threat tables match on top of that the finals of the king of extreme tournament takes place the winner of this match will not only be crowned the king of extreme but on top of that, they will become the number one contender for the ECW World Heavyweight Championship and face whoever wins in our main event tonight between William Regal and Shawn Michaels at the ECW One Night Stand pay-per-view. With that being said, last year will take on Sabu, the two finalists, in a Hell in a Cell match. On top of that, in a hardcore tornado tag match, another special feature, uh, sp feature for you guys, Terry Funk. We'll team up with Rey Mysterio, take on the team of Randy Orton and CM Punk. And then in our main event, as we mentioned earlier, folks, the ECW Championship Online, William Regal versus Shawn Michaels. Of course, the real extreme gentleman refusing to get extreme. It will be a standard one-on-one -on -one match. Will William Regal regret this decision when he takes on arguably his toughest opponent ever in the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels? With that being said, let's confirm this match card. And... Well, let's get straight into it. Edge takes on Jeff Hardy. We're going to finish this mini feud right here, right now. Oh, who do I want to do? Um, I guess we could do Jeff. Against my better judgment. Let me actually make sure I raise the audio for my mic too, just in case. So worst comes to worst, it's still kind of loud, and it's not overpowering. Like I said, folks, this little mini feud, this little bad blood TV feud, that just kind of speared Jeff Hardy out against when he went against Sabu in that hardcore match. That's the reason why Sabu advanced to the finals. And it could have been Jeff Hardy and Bobby Lashley in the finals, but ladies and gentlemen, his opponent, the charismatic enigma. The man who has failed more drug tests and sobriety tests than most people, Jeff Hardy. Was that a, was that a good intro? I feel that was a good intro. I mean, we we have to have brutally honest introductions here. We can't do any lying. We can't do falsifying of records. It's not cool. Anyway, barely legal pay per view. I I, I kind of I love that name. I think we'll do the second pay per view that doesn't have a name called Living Dangerously. That's a really cool ECW pay per view. I remember that back then. Um, back then as if I was alive back then but I remember watching the DVDs I should have probably said that honestly I don't know why I said back then as if I was freaking from the stone ages but come on Jeff uh, Jeff Hardy immediately you know he's got to be pissed off he had Sabu where he wanted him and then Edge got involved at least that's the kayfabe version we all know in the actual match Jeff Hardy kind of whooped um, I, I mean, Jeff Hardy kind of got whooped by Sabu, but that's okay. It's it's the other point. Beautiful off the top rope leg drop. 
And that could be all she wrote right now. I forgot we're not going for a pinfalls here. It's a last man standing match. Edge is going to find out the hard way. This will get extreme. And you know our pay-per-views, folks. They are always to the extreme. Considering the fact that I'm afraid of my wife, I haven't really thought about it that much. I don't know, man. You'd be tough to catch in that ring. It's not like a greased up shaved cat. I thought for a minute that Jeff could take off the turnbuckle, but I guess not. If you had only the heels can do this, we're just going for off the top rope. The back suplex. Oh! Absolutely wrecking Edge in the process. Edge now with the dirty eye poke. Boom! What was that? No, no, no. Is that all he has for the running attack? Come on now. Let's see what, what Matt, what Jeff's got here. Okay, nice knee to the face. Okay, what else you got, Jeff? Just if he gets low blow, it's all legal. Happily. He also never met a title he didn't win. Notice the connection there, Weisenheimer. His devious ways may draw on the ire of the fans. Wow. But they've caused him Jeff, to win a lot we're of struggling here, buddy. Jeff Hardy. Beautiful arm drag. You have the twist. The oh. to make the he said you have the twist of fate. And he does it pretty freaking well. That was a textbook reversal. Come on, come on, come on. I don't lose it. I don't lose it. No, no, no. no. Just the fate, just the fate, just the fate. He only has a swanton? What? Man, this match kind of That's not cool. In the ring I mean, it's great to know he has a swanton right bomb, you know, really for going. like some right. decently, you know, mo well, I wouldn't say decent, but for some moderately extreme reasons. I think we could probably keep this match for the majority. Um, I want to say probably in the crowd. Yeah. The it's just hard about a close line. It's to, the, to the crowd there. We're gonna, they're going to be brawling in the crowd. Brawling in the crowd. Here we go. I want to get... You know what? Let's get the trash go. Wow. I forgot, wait, they made Edge hardcore in this. That's even better. See, Edge already fits the hard, the easy. I didn't realize that they, wow. But I, I didn't realize that they made, you know, Edge have the, the, the hardcore thing. I thought that was, I thought he was done with that at this time. I thought that was like just for 06. Cause you, no, yeah, cause by 07. But yeah, by 07 it should have been, oh my God, Jeff Hardy took a crutch from a fan. Wow. I. Wow. What is. Jeff Hardy getting this table set up. This is not good if you're Edge. You need to get out of town. Edge could be literally. You can't outsmart this cat. It's also tough to out cheat him. He bends the rules like they're made of pizza dough. Does this game have the, the physics? I don't think they have the physics. Whoa! You see that? Damn! What a shot! Talk about a difference maker! Very few superstars can recover from this. I would say, I think Edge is gonna counter like this. I, I didn't think that, um. Get drop kicked. What incredible impact! The table practically exploded! Oh, he dropped. What? I thought he was gonna, like, twist the fatal on there. Okay, well, okay, so Jeff does not have the moveset I, I thought he was going to have. I'm, I'm, I'm quickly learning that. Oh, oh my god, it exploded. Oh my god, it exploded. I wonder. Oh my, oh. Off the top. Oh. Wait, we nailed him. We're going to lose that. With those when you were active in the ring. It's not like I'm uh, okay. Ed the Strangler Lewis over here. I've been in a ring with a right. lot of guys. So let's see, let's see what we got. Jeff Hardy. Beautiful like hair. Be longer because I have to sit next to you week after week after week. Wow, I am struggling to get Edge where I need him. That's perfect. That is perfect. I don't get it. Why not go in the hill? I think this Claim. superstar has a game plan and is there we go. to stick to it. That's all well Come on, good. Jeff. Can you, if Jeff hits a swanton from the heavens here, it's over. If Jeff Hardy can hit it. 
I don't think we're ever gonna hit a freaking whoa. Alright, I have another idea. I don't think Edge is gonna stay down long enough for him to oh ahead of your opponent, especially in this caliber of a match. It really is a game of human chess. Yeah, and I'm stuck next to the lowly pawn. Alright. Come on, let's see what we got. Come on, Jeff. I know Jeff is fast enough, I think. But Edge, I think his, Edge, Edge's recovery is just so good that, like, yeah, it's just, it's not. Like I said, I want to try to hit this swan tom, and I'm determined to hit a swan tom off this dang scaffolding. Whoever thought we'd be calling this match together? Hey, partner, no fool. Now that was some serious impact. Yeah, I'll keep I up. bet you can hear that sound all the way up. Even in the sweet seats. I said he's got to stay down. I mean, he's in double red he and yellow. He cannot be getting up. That's some Come on, right Joe. Oh, he can't do up the top, and who cares? So All right, so now we know we can't do it, but that, that is a pretty yeah. epic right. off the top. I think I we've done everything literally in match. the corner, or at least in the crowd, for the most part. This match is clearly not over. We have the bad blood spewing back in, out, back, uh, you know, inside the ring area, at least away from the crowd. Jeff Hardy, I think, realizing if he wants to go, to, oh my God, that would kill him. Why do you just eat it like that? We're here to provide commentary. Talking's kind of our job. Then maybe I'll have to break out my mute button. Also known as my fist. No way. He slipped out of that one. Wow. <laughs> what was that? Be a really good time to start what a was that? I say go for the Look at that. That's going to go over big with the... God. Oh, that hurt me. The side of the freaking. He literally just rammed the side of, of the. That, like, Samoan drop, folks, was just. Oh, that was hard. Look at Jeff. Just. Jeff is punching away. Oh, my God. I said, Edge does not want to get put through a table. Oh, God, and that broke it? Oh, my God. Edge is in... He's got yellow leg damage. I mean, this is not good, actually. This is really bad. At least Edge isn't busted open. Wow. Wow. Alright, well, Edge doing his thing here. Where are you going, Jeff? Well, there's that. Alright, Ed, Jeff Hardy to pick it up, Edge. Okay, we'll try to pick up. Oh, no. I think Jeff, Jeff wants to put through the table. Oh. See, I don't think we need to put put him through both tables there, Jeff. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. Uh-oh. I think Jeff Hardy has enjoyed the damage he's done to Edge. Oh. My goodness. Oh my god. I know you guys heard the think that think was a human skull meeting the ring post. I mean the ring bell, sorry. Apologies. And that that was a hideous thud. 
And Jeff Hardy getting the chair. I mean, this this, this match has been everywhere. It's been outside. It's been t inside the crowd. I mean, Edge really and wisely here. I would stay on the outside. I don't think I want to get back into... Ooh, he got lucky. Maybe he did. And Edge has been busted wide open. I said at this point, I don't think Edge or Jeff Hardy have much that they put it on the line here tonight. And now he's stopping all the legs. Jeff Hardy trying to put this way. Swanton bomb. Is it over? Can he hit it? He hits it. And I um, mean, oh, Edge is done. Ladies and gentlemen, Edge is done. This is over. It's over, but Jeff Hardy not finished yet. Jeff Hardy wanting to cause more damage here, wanting to bring more pain to the rated R superstar. And a doll, oh, the T, the damning DDT. And Jeff Hardy for one more swan ton bomb to put Edge away. Middle of the ring, that's got to be it. I think the ref can count to 100, folks. Jeff Hardy is, is, I think Jeff Hardy knows this match is over. We're at a six count, folks. Can Edge answer this, the 10 count? And Jeff Hardy puts Edge down. Edge unable to answer the 10 count. Jeff Hardy's the last man standing. Jeff Hardy can say he finally put Edge away once and for all. Wow. Congrats to Jeffrey Nero Hardy. A big victory at Barely Legal. You want to talk about Barely Legal, folks? This match was taken to the extreme. The charismatic Enigma picks up a huge and monumental victory here tonight. Congrats to Jeff Hardy. Well, that's what's up heck that was that was a smooth match. I feel I feel like we had a really smooth match honestly I, I was pretty content I was pretty happy with that so I was getting a sip of water next up folks is going to be an invitational match if you will it's a it's a triple threat tables match the way to win is you have to put one of your opponents through a table yes that sounds easier said than done but yes, one of these men will be getting put through a table. One of these men will be putting someone through a table. And one of these men will have no real inf influence in the decision of this match. And we are kicking it off, folks, with the former ECW World Heavyweight Champion, JTG. The man headlined WrestleMania as ECW Champion. And you got to think here for JTG, if he is able to win this match, then he's going to climb up in the rankings. And maybe, eventually, if he can keep a winning pattern going, he can become the new, he can try to challenge for the ECW uh, championship. You know, he'd love another crack at William Riggle. And Umaga, folks, looks just nuts as it is. And ladies and gentlemen, where is he? The Sandman, you know, loves hardcore. That's exactly what we're seeing that. The Sandman is looking ready. I think Terry Funk looking all cool there. I feel like Terry Funk always starts off really rough for us. Like, I don't think Terry Funk last season had a good start either. But I feel like he got, he got better towards the middle and then fell off again at the end. Yes, yeah, at the organization's first ever pay-per-view, Barry Legal, which is actually why I call Barely Legal the first pay-per-view we have of every series, because it was the first one they've ever had. Go Sandman, here we go. Everyone jump him on it. Get the bulldozer out of it. I think that's the smartest plan for JTG, who actually, you know, has some history here with, with, uh, with the Sandman. JT already grabbing a chair. 
And oh, oh my god, Umago got rocked, but so did the Sandman. And JTG already trying to try to take down Umaga. JTG just trying to literally just do everything humanly possible to damage Umaga. Umaga saying no, not today. Nice arm drag, but again, Umaga gets right back up. Now go for the Luthez. Here goes JTG with his right hand shot. The Sandman doing the smart thing, getting out of dodge. But JTG, the leg drop, nailed him. He's going right back to the knee of the face there. And I don't blame him. The same man thought, thought twice by going back in. Umaga here really getting absolutely wrecked. When fired up like this. And now, Sa oh, same man was not paying attention. Maybe he is. Maybe, try to ba maybe he baited JTG. An overzealous J JTG, maybe. Or maybe I was wrong. And now it's the same man who's getting whooped on the outside. JTG tried to prove a point to if he can put one of his men through a table. Maybe he did, maybe he has them also set. Maybe that East Every World title win wasn't a fluke, a miracle run at that. A once in a lifetime. Did he just Nice count from Sandman. Umaga keeps trying to get involved. This is trying to have some type of input. There's not a lot you can do to stop him. In this match, it's oh, nice shots of the guy. I don't like it, but as long as it wins matches, it's gonna keep happening. This is not good for JTG. Let me tell you, you gotta do everything in your power to survive, legal or not. JTG tried to pick up Umaga, couldn't happen. The same man just not trying to get involved in it. Oh, oh. There's a beating of the minds going on in there right oh, now. Poor Sandman. Sandman got got here by JTG. In fact, should have that lock. You gotta be kidding me. Give it on. JTG is just going at it, folks. He is off the chain right now. Like a bat out of hell. Oh, I like that move. I like that move. But is JTG, did JTG tire himself out? Oh, I think he's going for the trifecta. Sam man said, no, not today, buddy. He eye poked him. Oh. Looks like they've come in here and stepped up their game. Yet, but the ladder of success goes both ways. The losing side, that means a trip down one run. Oh, poor Sandman. Getting God again. Getting God again. Now that's the opening he was waiting for, and now he's taking advantage of it. Taking advantage like that needs the face or he is using it to his advantage. He's cheating. Cheating. Plain and simple. He slipped out of that one. He's turning. JTG is on fire. Check it out. This is going to be cool. And that's a good way to go about it. That neck breaker was money. And again, trying to take out Umaga. Poor and Umaga, guy. My lord. Umaga. At the superstars of the ring. Well, you know, you can show off for the crowd all you want, but all that does is let your opponent rest up. I'm sure this superstar oh. would argue the benefits of feeding off of the audience. Oh, real nice. He can't win fair and square, gonna... so he screws his way to I a I keep victory. forgetting when they get busted up, and it's like, that's like their thing. It takes to win the match. If it was that bad, the ref would have DQ'd him, right? Is Umaga gonna answer that? That, that uh oh. Will Sandman bust open? Nope. Wait, maybe. Sandman having second doubts on that on that chair shot. I don't think JTG does. Tom, Dick, and Joey would try to get in the ring. This is no joke. Yep, JTG had zero. Hesitation. Oh. And JTG saying, screw it. He's going to put Umaga through the table. The and that should be it. This drunk has been some of the JTG dropped toe holds. Umaga through the table. These WWE fans and JTG is victorious. You all, Salmon got busted open. Umaga got busted open. And after that, Umaga was the one who got put through it. 
you gotta think Umaga had to be the favorite in this tables match. And JTG is the one who puts Umaga through the table. Congrats to JTG. Finally having winning ways. Yo, 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 yo. Pop a 40 and check your rollies. It's crime time. Here's your winner. JTG. And next up, folks, the finals of the King of Extreme Tournament. The winner will be not only be crowned the new King of Extreme for the year, but also have the number one contendership opportunity to face either William Regal or Shawn Michaels for the ECW title at one night stand. It's huge, folks. Oh, it's huge. What is the thing? It's true. It's damn true. Exactly that. Gentlemen, Bob Lashley really coming down during his opponent. He can thank Edge for getting to the finals in kayfabe. He is the homicidal suicide of death to find Sabu, folks. And Sabu is looking to get that number one contendership opportunity. Will it be the ECW original headlining ECW's one night stand in the main event to challenge for the ECW world championship? And being called the King of Extreme, or will it be the Walking Armageddon, the Almighty Bobby Lashley, a Hell and a Cell match to decide? A match this magnitude can only be done at barely weekly. Sorry, I'm drinking some uh, out of chicken water. Lashley trying to get the quickness advantage. Sabu said, not today. He said, if you're Sabu, do you want to keep this match inside the ring? Do you want to take it to the outside? If I'm Sabu, I don't think I want to face Bobby Lashley inside the cage. Oh. I think Sabu just found out he does not want to be in there with Bobby Lashley like that. Wow, great reversal. And Sabu raking the face of Bobby Lashley into the cage. You can't blame him. Oh. Out of that one. Sabu trying to climb the cage for Lashley. Got out. Lashley thought he could try to catch him. What's Sabu is up on the cage right now, folks. Right now. The homicidal suicide death defying Sabu. I, I don't think if you're... This isn't a smart plan here. If you're, if you're, if you're Bobby Lashley, I wouldn't go up to the cage. This is something Sabu already had ideas of. And I just wouldn't do this. Oh, my God. It's scary to see them up there. Who knows what's going to happen up there? That's the real thing. That is the real, like, scare, scary part. That is an unforgiving structure. Oh. Them on you know where and you know what. Well, wait, 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 Sabu gonna launch us on the cage. Oh my god. Oh great reversal. <gasps> oh he jumped off the top with the leg drop. And Sabu trying to put on the camel clutch. I mean the damage has already been done, folks. Hey, Lashley took that, like that Lashley took I, I don't even know how Lashley's standing so quickly. Folks, I, I'm, I'm shocked. We just got new announce tables up. Sabu already trying to clearly uh, use one of them or or in, in, in his they mind, break him in. It's too close to Wait a minute, and this hell is so they're going. Wait a minute, they, we have escaped the cage and now we're here. All... Oh, this isn't good. This is not good. He's getting a mop. Bobby Lash is together. He's not going to be hit with that mop. Oh my three. God! A bop from the hell of the mop. It looks like these superstars are taking this into the crowd. These fans better stay out of the way if they know what's good for them. Goodness gracious! This comes to a point, folks, where I'm just kind of wondering. This. This isn't safe. The fans brought. Oh my! 
God, how can you hope to defend yourself against an object like that? The That's the table. nature of the beast, man. If it's not nailed down, someone's gonna take it and try to bash it in oh, your head. kick to the skull. Oh, got all back. Oh, he's busted like open. Come in here and stepped up their game. Yet, but the ladder of success goes both ways. On the losing side, that means a trip down one rung. I mean, Bobby Lashley is a bloody mess right now. I don't even before, think these guys should be out again. here. Nothing Honestly, in a hell in a cell match, this is not where we want to be. But thankfully, getting back to ringside, I mean, they still have to get inside the ring at some point. Well, inside or outside the ring, I just, this is not. Ladies and gentlemen, I just, this is going to get dangerous. And one of these guys can get seriously injured. This would be a big loss. The DDT through the tail! I can't take saying, Skirts, I've been trying to climb the cage. I think Lashley's all been enraged. He's been put through a table, thrown off the cell, been busted wide open. You know, we get it. The king of the extreme is important. But the number of contention opportunity is important. Oh, thank God. I thought, I thought Seb was going to throw him, try to throw him over again. So at some point, folks, you've got to get concerned. Oh. God, did you hear the, how the, 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 the cage, the top of the cage rattled and like thudded, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, right thudded. I like think luckily for Lash, the cage isn't, isn't, isn't he's wavering. He's building up ahead of steam, and he's about to let his opponent have it. I'll tell you what, if his opponent's got a brain in his head, he'll get the heck out of there. Ooh, that cage is, that cage wall is, 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 is top of the cell is hanging in strong. I think they're underestimating it. it. Why not go in for the kill? I think this superstar has a game plan and is determined or to maybe stick not, to maybe That's not. all well and good. But what you think up in the locker room and what happens in a match are two different things. Oh, wow, that cage. That cage, the top of the cell, folks. That is one strong mamma jamma. Uh-oh. It's starting to and waver. That kind of makes me miss competing in the ring myself. I wouldn't jump in there right now. Those super you know, there is such a thing as I'm getting concerned, folks. Bobby Lashley is exactly getting, what I'm seeing here. They're getting closer and closer to breaking that cage. The way to a victory, then more power to you. If you're not concerned for the well-being of these athletes, I don't know what to tell you. That's some bloodthirsty stuff. The king of extreme here. I mean, Sabu is mocking, mocking Bobby Lashley. In this contest. Having respect and support of the crowd is great, but it's not going to win you the match. Didn't it give you no. to hear the fans cheering and chanting God. for you? Yeah, I definitely think it was pretty cool. Oh. So Sabu is desperate. Come on. You don't win a match by talking your opponent to death. Not technically. But getting the crowd on your side can be a huge psychological boost. Uh, both cages, folks. Both cage walls are wavering like there's no tomorrow. And Sabu, I think, is really just playing his game. I gotta tell you, I was so pumped up about this match, I hardly slept last night. Are you sure your own snoring didn't keep waking you up? Hey, I don't snore, man. You forget, I've been on... Oh, Sabu's gotta be careful. Either you were snoring... He almost well, took himself off carry. the top of the cage. I think Sabu trying to choke. Oh, Sabu trying to go oh, for that camera question right roll. in the middle. Well, I had nowhere to go. Match, not a popularity contest. What's wrong with that? His charisma is one of the things that got him to the big dance in the first place. If I'm Lashley, I don't think I. Uh, him, and now he's going to give them exactly what they want to see. I say you pay more attention to whoever you're squaring off with. And leave the fans alone there until the match is won. So that's uh, that's what Lashley should want to get away from the cage. He's taking a little time to give his opponent a. Was all he went through the cage? I'm not really sure if the cage care. wall wavered. Oh, it's over. The camel club. He's gonna have to tap. He will have to tap. Oh, yeah, it's over, folks. Wait a minute, Sebu, let go. Bobby Lashley is very proud of his this crazy of nut job. Sabu wants to inflict more pain. 
I mean, when is, when is enough enough? If anyone lives up to his nickname, it's Sabu. He really is suicidal, homicidal, genocidal, and a death I don't, I don't know what else Sabu Keyword can have in suicidal. mind here. I mean, the it's done everything that you can possibly do, and he's climbing the cage again. When is enough enough? This has that. to end. I mean, the cage, the top of the cage wall, it, it, it broke, folks. Bobby Lash has been thrown off of the cell, been put through the top of the cell, been busted right open. They fought outside in the crowd. I mean, Lashley's barely getting to his feet here. I don't know who's more excited, me, the fans, or the superstars themselves. I'm going to have to go out on a limb here and say I'm the most excited. You got a problem with that? Guy, yeah, I just think that... that Sabu is playing with fire right now. I mean, you can just tell Bobby Lashley. I don't think there's anything left. Another camel. Oh, the camel clutch. Oh, it's over. It's over. Yeah, Bobby Lashley forced to tap out to the camel clutch on the top of the. So there's no one for Bobby Lashley to go, folks. I mean, with all the damage and, and hell that Sabu put him through, this match was as violent and as vicious as it can get. I mean, I guess you can say congrats to Sabu. He is now the king of extreme for the remainder of the se of of, the, of this season. In season two, he is the first ever king of extreme. But not only that, he is the number one contender for the ECW World Title. He will face William William Regal or Shawn Michaels at the pay per view one night stand. For the ECW title, that is Sabu's opportunity to champ a championship shot in the main event of ECW One Night Stand. The hell that Sabu put freaking Bobby Lashley through, that was insane, folks. That was an insane Hell in a Cell match. Next up, of course, kind of like a teaser to kind of hype up the crowd for the main event. Terry Funk and Rey Mysterio take on Randy Orton and CM Punk in a Tornado Tag Hardcore match. Said the barely legal pay per view has provided violence personified. That's for damn sure. We can all agree on that. This has not been a pay per view for the faint of heart. These competitors have really went to the extreme. Right, so having Terry Funk, the Funkster. Ladies and gentlemen, his tag team partner, the one and only Ray Mysterio. Where's Ray? There we go. Welcome back, Ray. Your first pay per view. Hey, Randy Orton. Randall Keith Orton. He's back, folks. Look at Randy. Happier than ever. He's back at ECW. Did they get season two? This will be. I think one of them traded. Back to the E. Pretty sure we did. Ladies and gentlemen, C. M. Punk. It sucks they didn't let you use Tommy Dreamer in this thing. I don't know why they didn't get like Paul Heyman to do the GMO for this. And why they put Tommy Dreamer there. Only thing I didn't like. This Randy went straight for the legend Terry Funk. Can't say I blame him here. You know, Randy Orton in this game is still the legend killer. He's probably going to be called the. She's going to try to become the extreme killer, if anything. Randy sees Ray. You know, they've got a history. Are we. What's happening here? I just want to hit the ref. Looks like he decided to grab a weapon from under the ring. Glad to know I can hit a teammate. That's glad to know. I saw some pretty gnarly stuff under that ring earlier. I wonder what's going to get pulled out. Wow, Randy, I don't know what that was. 
That was a terrible thing. Randy said, oh my god. Right, me and Joey Stones were the same, but we're like, oh my god. That's Randy ready going for the RKO. Oh, and Terry Funk. Old man Terry Funk. Is Orton trying to choke out? Orton hates CCW. I don't know what you are trying to do with that, Randy. You should have never. Is this gonna be trouble? I, I don't think. Wow! What an RKO! Oh! Thank you, Captain Obvious. I admire it. Uh, Terry Funk is literally getting dismay. Oh! I think I was on the sledgehammer. What's gonna happen now? Anything and everything, man. I'm telling you, no ref, no rules. Look at this, look at this, Randy though's got the rope up here, right in these tights. Talk about bringing that hammer down, and he's going for it, and he got it, RKO! What a shot! That wow. sledgehammer will mess you up You see, I don't think CM Punk really wants the hit. Terry Funk, with that steel chair, I'm just saying, I mean, it really doesn't seem like that's the M.O. for it. It seems like CM Punk is upset to do such such a thing. Now, Randy had no problem RKOing Terry Funk. No kidding. That thing is meant to crush stone. Just imagine what it would do to a human body. That actually hit Ray. I don't... No, if that actually. Oh my He's god, Randy. You need to calm maneuver. down, buddy. Oh! That's pain a thud. Oh my right god. There. Oh, real nice. He can't win fair and square, so he screws his way to a victory. Hey, look. There's nothing wrong with him doing whatever it takes to win the match. If it was that bad, the ref would have DQ'd him, right? And an arcade of right Mysterio on the outside. Randy Orton is just picking apart. Both these competitors. Orton's mouth has got him into trouble numerous Thank times. You. Punk, I just need to drop the. Uh... I'll never understand why there are so many dangerous objects. Oh man, here he comes! RKO! RKO! There we go. Now Randy has got that that two by four. Again, Mysterio probably. Should not want to be out there. He's going to get our KO. Oh. Oh. Oh there we go. Stay over here. There we go. I doubt that Orton's going to bring another chair. I don't think he wants to split open Terry Funk. You don't want to split open these hardcore guys. You really don't. I don't think we're going to work. Oh my god, they brought two chairs. Now that was some serious impact. I bet you can hear that sound all the way up, even in the cheap seats. RK. Oh! Ha! That's the way to do it. Grab a weapon from under the ring and start swinging. Up oh, there goes. This is human chest, man. There goes Ray. And I don't think Terry just yet. The fans have certainly taken RKO. the CM Punk. He's one of the most popular. It appears he's bleeding from that yeah, last I, shot. Wow, you're not you know, Terry's not busted open. At least we got somebody busted open. That would be a good time for the ref to check the severity of that injury. And an RKO to Rey Mysterio. A lot of things under the ring. And Terry Funk's been busting right open, folks. Terry Funk's been busting right open. And Ray Mysterio's history, that RKO did it for him. The team of Punk and Orton are victorious here tonight in this hardcore tag team match. That was a mouthful to say. That was seriously a mouthful to say. Congrats to Radio and CM Punk on being victorious here tonight. Rey Mysterio, Terry Funk couldn't get the job done. And folks, it is time for the main event. And that will be for the ECW Championship, the real extreme gentleman, William Regal.
defends it. Defends it. Defends his ECW World Heavyweight Championship on the line tonight in the main event against the Heartbreak Kid, the Showstopper, Shawn Michaels. That is the main event. It is main event time, folks. This is going to be a wicked main event paper to this pay-per-view bear legal it's been an awesome pay-per-view so far hopefully you've enjoyed the ins the insane extreme action william regal waltzing down to the ring the real extreme gentleman has been on fire and it looks like he's gonna try to keep that momentum going dun, 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 dun. as you can tell i have very bad renditions of theme songs it's okay you don't have to tell me twice but his opponent, folks, the man these people probably love, he is the one, the only, the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. Can HBK win the ECW World Heavyweight title for the first time in his career? We're about to find out, folks. The main event of Bear Legal starts right here, right now. Here we go. It's no bigger than this, folks. Barely legal. Pay-per-view. World title on the line. Who walks away the champion? Who walks away the face of ECW? Will it be the real extreme gentleman? Or will it be the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels? See, we're all, we're all, we're all getting out of there already. William Regal sizing up Shawn Michaels, I think. Oh, Michael said it. Michael said it. One. Well, Shawn Michael saying to go suck it. And honestly, I, I don't think. Two. That's exactly what. That's exactly what. What Riggle wanted. Shawn the taunt. This is this, this, this played right into Regal's plan, but a rope break probably did not. Michael's over the counter, and the ECW champion could be in trouble. What do you mean? Dang, he's seen Regal trying to go for that shoulder bump. Michael's had it scattered. Michael's watched Regal's last match against MVP. Maybe William Regal tried to show off too much and gave Shawn Michael too much of the playbook. This could come back to be a costly decision. For William Regal, beautiful drop to hold. You're right, this is not. This would be a technical masterclass. Miss Regal trying to stretch him out. Oh, Regal going for, for the roll up here. The roll up one to retain the title. Oh, so close to the real extreme gentleman. Said William Regal's got to be thinking in the back. Said, "What can I do to beat Shawn Michaels? Can I beat Shawn Michaels? Is it possible?" Is a true life, real On the mat, shoulders wow. down. This could be it. Wow. Beautiful slider selection maneuver from Shawn Michaels. The challenger looking to try to take to turn the tide. They sacrifice everything to get to this one match. That's some hardcore drama right Michael's there. not happen. Michael's is on top of his game. Well, that and having me on the mic. Yeah, right. How could I forget that all important... We have that popping up Michael's for the neck breaker. You see how quickly Regal applied that. He was he could be in, in some deep trouble. Now going to the arms. Regal's trying to make sure he stretches out all body parts here of Shawn Michael's. And I don't blame him. This is a match where Regal really does have to be on top of form if he wants to try to beat the heartbreak kid. Good point. That's the price you pay to be a superstar. Good counter by Regal. Good counter by Michaels. Get another counter by Regal. Another counter by Michaels. Both of these guys know each other so well. It's too close to call. It all wow, back to back. The most and what to get it. maneuver. Down goes the champ. Coming around. 
Again, that may have crossed Shawn Michaels. Michaels tried to taunt. Rico said no. Rico's really trying to go back to these submissions. He's trying to wear out Shawn Michaels. This is a very smart idea. It's a very smart plan. But will it work against the guy like Shawn? Okay, yeah, great. That's just great. Now, why do you quit showing off? And oh, the referee got thrown into Shawn Michaels. He's in the sports entertainment You are real, though. Regal's getting the two by four. Brewer's got to be careful. He doesn't want to get disqualified. HBK has been gone for a while, man. I'm so glad he's back. What do you think the reason why he came back? The energy. Oh, no. The referee is down. What's gonna happen now? The referee see nothing. The referee seen not a damn thing. Regal used. William Regal used. Oh my god, what are you going for? The razor's edge. Oh my goodness. I think that took a lot out of Regal too. You can tell, but Regal, the damage has been done on Shawn Michaels with that two by four. Oh nice elbow. off the ropes Rigo up up and over goes Sean and Rigo now taunting Shawn Michaels this may be a bad idea this was actually working out for him when he was so focused now he gave Sean some time to recover me and Tabs just talking about recovering let's go right back to it, trying to uh, trying to exhaust Shawn Michaels can you imagine if Shawn Michaels taps out to, to anything Rigo has got planned uh, I think Rigo's just tired out Did Shawn Michaels gas Rigo all she's doing here is giving his opponent a chance to recover. There's no nice arm drag. Who they like in this one. This Luthez from Regal to Michaels. The beautiful Regal yeah, knee. Oh my goodness. You know, the Regal knows it, so that's not going to do it. Regal long. knows it. Surprised by that. So that's Regal trying to make sure he does some more damage to Sean. I think Regal just knows it's not going to be that easy. And if he thinks Sean's going to be easy to put down, he's incredibly wrong. We're seeing Regal play a very cautious game. He's going for the DDT. Oh! Oh my god! And all the brass knocks and ref. I'm not one to judge a match with stars, but this one is off. Regal's headbutting Shawn Michaels. I can't Regal is snapped. This is something you'd see from one of the savages like like Sandman. Oh Michaels Michaels turned out the way, you know Regal was looking for that. Nice counter. Got to lose this and keep face. Michaels grounded. This is exactly what Regal needs. This is great. We be calling this match together. Hey, partner, no fool. Hey, not for nothing. What do I got heat with to be stuck with you? Well, that's not what Regal wants. Regal is just took. Come over over here, please. Let me go outside. The ref is still down. William Regal is the pride of Blackpool, England. I've never Doc, been to Oh, Regal trying to use the chair while the ref was distracted. Well, you know the old expression: when the cat's away, the mice will beat each other up. Oh, 
pushed back, the skull bounced off the chair. The ref was not happy, ref almost disqualified. Regal. With you, partner, and now they're here to put on a great show for all of us. Wow, what's with the back and forth? John Michael wow. has one of the most storied careers in WWE Whoa. history. Yeah, oh my god, wow, beating the best in the business. There still aren't many Shawn Michaels folks are trying to literally counter for counter everything William Regal has. And then some. Regal has to be careful here. What kind of preparation goes into a match like this? What? Besides the endless oh, workout, and the sledgehammer. And mental anguish, these athletes don't just chill out on a couch. That's it, folks. I mean, he, Michaels has been demolished. But Regal, again, he's taking out the referee. I think Regal thinks the ref's going to get up. But uh -oh. I mean, Michaels' is history, folks. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Come on, rep the seven count. Two. Oh my God, that was it. Even, even after, even after the sledgehammer. You gotta think, Michaels was was hit with the two by four, the sledgehammer, and a steel chair. I think it's time to bring out the. I believe. How much more damage and the severe blood loss. William Regal really did cheat his way. He was he broke every rule to defeat Shawn Michaels. The real extreme gentleman is still the real world's champion. He is still the ECW champion. Whether you like it or not, the real extreme gentleman defeats Shawn Michaels to retain the ECW World Heavyweight Championship right here tonight at Barely Legal. And whether you like it or not, folks, East William Regal is still the man on ECW. No fan change? Wow. Overall, pay-per-view rating came out at three and a half stars. That was the best one we had, and somehow we did terrible. Raw had two and a half. Okay. Smackdown had three. So I had the best show. How did I not get any fan change? Sabu will have a roughly have will have roughly a twenty five percent impact on his performance. A strained Achilles tendon. Well, that was the King of Extreme Tournament for you. I can't say I'm surprised, but hey, uh Sabu's gonna keep on wrestling. <laughs> He's got to. I mean, it's like yeah, <laughs> well, it's like, it's like that's like all I can say. I mean, it was a big match. Well, Bobby actually went up one. Terry Funk went down. Orton, I think, stayed the same. Sabu has been going up some. That was four. No, that's why. JTG went up. CM Punk went up. Jeff Hardy went up. Kane stayed the same. Uh, Sandman went down. Maga went down. Kali stayed. MVP stayed. Snitsky. Mark Henry is gonna keep going down because he's so damn low. But we're almost like done with William Regal, which is great. Because I mean, you want your champ to be pretty darn good. I still can't believe that was a three and a half. That was a two and a half. What? Three and a half. Three and three and a half. Okay, so I feel like we weren't robbed, which is which is nice. I just don't get it. They had a three star. I don't get how they had three star with that roster for that match. We had actually three. We should have had a three star show. I'm sorry. We should have had a three star show. Uh, Raw literally can't put on a show to save their life. <laughs> like, I don't know how they had a two and a half. Do we really not get any fan support? Wow. I, I, I don't know how we didn't gain any fans. I don't understand that for the life of me. That makes zero sense. And, well, at least one rule's kind of up there. He's getting up there. So that's kind of cool. You know, that, that makes no sense to me at all. How we did not, like, 
uh, how how don't we you know like how how don't we not win any fans i think we lost fans that's the wild thing i really think we genuinely lost fans i feel like i was at least at 2.71 not 2.70 I, I i don't know no i'm sorry they had a what they had two matches at four and a half if you take that star this is a three right you take that star that's a two no they don't they they, they did not average that i'm sorry i'm sorry my average was pretty darn good you guys shifted me over two two and a half two and a half at no point do you have a three-star show at no point do you have a three-star show get out of here with this crap and we actually have to make our rivalries too because we're starting something new yeah all right so jealous friends well not for the weeks team candidate both of our supporters for champion hunger challenger let's do hunger challenger and let's do who's the champ oh wow well. careful who asked this here sabu and william regal will have a hungry challenger storyline that'll be good and then while that's going on i think we should try to like do a number one Contenders match. Okay, so I think that's all we can do is that. Well, Bobby Lashley lost. Sean hasn't done too good. Ray, you're one and three. Randy, you're two and two. Marky, you're irrelevant. And say Jeff has done something. Edge would more than likely actually be the guy to be there as a heel. And so that would be something as a face. Randy Orton is a face. Holy hell, the world has truly gone over. Frozen over. So that means Edge and Randy Orton will feud in a six-week week rivalry. So Edge and Orton, Sabu and Regal. Like I'll accept the next challenge or two. All right, you know, that's not bad. It gets us going, and I think that at that point, oof, SummerSlam is yonders away. My gosh, yonders, like literally. So now that we have our feuds. Do I need to extend anybody's contract? I don't think so. I feel like I already extended, right? They're on sevens. All right, so that's not terrible. Okay, I do want to see that. How many people do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. We have eighteen. Okay. Cool, cool. Now that I know that, our main event is going to be a tag team match. Get to know a tag team match. Let's see William Regal and Edge. Whoops. Take on Sabu. And Randy Orton. And that is going to be... That's going to be our main event tonight. Our two rivalries are already put in place. I like the sound of it, truthfully. I think over here, we can put on... I will say Bobby Lashley. And I think Rey Mysterio is a good idea for that match. Um, rivalry hype. Um, well, William, I'm not putting any hardcore matches soon, so I can boost your popularity up. Yeah. Yeah, it's perfect. Wait, does that actually get him injured? The cost of gaining fatigue. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Now we got a really solid match right here. Uh, I want to I make it look really good. That's something I want to make it look really, really good um, in terms of what we've got going on. CM Punk can actually just go one-on-one -on -one with... I could have him against Mysterio. That would actually be a pretty good one. CM Punk versus Rey Mysterio. Whoops. Uh, CM Punk. Punk 
versus the funk. Oh heck yeah. Should we make it any type of match? I feel like no, I feel, I feel like we should we should leave Terry Funk. That that's the match we're playing. CM Punk versus Terry Funk. We have to play that match. The Punk, it's Battle of the Unks. Oh, that's great. I am a marketing genius. Haha. <laughs> Then over here we'll do another singles match, um, knowing that JTG will be in this match. Okay, Terry Funk is the only person we haven't used. I don't want to use him for this match, believe it or not. I would rather use someone else. You know what? Let's put Jeff Hardy in there, and I feel like that's a decent. Um, that is a decent singles match to have. That's two, that's four, that's six, that's ten. We'll still be leaving out two people, but I do need to start using people. I do know that. And um, what I will do to kind of boost this up is I can make this a tag team match. That way I know everyone is being used, and that means the Sandman can help out JTG and Kane can help out Jeff Hardy. That works, okay. Yeah, that works, cool, I like that. And then I have to use everyone to stop people from like popularity from falling into like Crapsville, because then they I don't want that. Um, we'll do a six man elimination tornado tag match, sure. So I know for a fact that MVP is gonna captain this team and the great Kali will captain the other team. On MVP's team, he'll have Mark Henry and Snitsky. On Kali's team, he'll have Umaga. And who is someone we did not use? Who is someone? As Shawn Michaels, we did not use Shawn Michaels at all in this match. So, Shawn Michaels will be over here, and Jeff Hardy can be over here. If anything, wouldn't that be the cooler side? Yeah. So, MVP, Mark Henry, Jeff Hardy will take on Kali, Umaga, and Snitchki, which I kind of like that actually dynamic. JTG, Sandman will take on HBK and. Kansom will take on HBK and JTG in a tag team match. CM Punk versus Terry Funk, Battle of the Unks, Lashley Mysterious. We'll probably do three, four, and the main event. Let's make sure we put our advertising promo on there because we always need money. Always. So it's now with 18 superstars. A lot to manage. All right, I like the way this looks. It's it's we have a lot of depth. I I like it. I like I like it a lot. So this will be the, the the show for next week. MVP Henry and Hardy versus Kali Umaga and Snitsky. An elimination six man turn tag match. And then on top of that, we will do a normal uh, tag match with Kane for Sam and Sandman taking on HPKJT. I won't do these two matches here when we do it. We'll do Battle of the Unks, CM Punk and Terry Funk in a regular singles match. Same thing with Lashley versus Mysterio in a regular singles match. And then the tag team turn tag. Regal and Edge take on Sabu and Randy Orton. We don't want anyone getting hurt. We already got Sabu after the King of Extreme tournament with a torrent with a, with a strained um, Achilles, so we don't get him any, any any more injured than needs to be, and hopefully he'll recover without getting even worse for the pay per view. So yeah, this is the show. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Please do leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the BBTV channel, and hopefully we got the audio right this time. Woohoo! Hopefully, bare legal pay per view. Did you enjoy it? I hope you did. We will see you next time, everybody.